It is International Firefighters Day, and a department here in the 608 is receiving some big help from a big name. Josh Spreider is live at the Cottage Grove Fire Department this morning with the story. Hey, Josh. Hey guys, good morning. Yeah, that's right. It is Firefighters Day. It was perfect timing for this story here at the Cottage Grove Fire Department because they're receiving some big help within the last few months. We've been talking about this all morning. The Gary Sinise Foundation has awarded them more than $18,000 to help them get some new gear, which was badly needed here. And these grants are super important for vo uh, volunteer fire departments, especially here. Well, so again, we are at the Cottage Grove Fire Department. Jason Kuderna, you're here with us this morning. And, you know, these grants are crucial for you guys here, especially in Cottage Grove. Yeah, um, we do get a lot of grants. Uh, we do have a lot of fundraising as well and get help from the community. Uh, a couple more tools we've gotten through our grants and fundraising. One is this uh, battery-powered uh, extrication tool here, um, known as Jaws of Life. So, Josh, if you wanted to grab a hold of it, we'll so show you how it works. So this is all battery powered. This, this is, is all like battery powered. Technology. Yep, our old stuff is all hydraulic with a, a motor and lines we have to run. And this, just a battery. And you said this is about 40 pounds about here? About 40, 40, 50 pounds. So how new is this technology? Um, the battery stuff has really come out in the last five or six years now. Um, you know, it gets better every year. Stuff gets lighter, batteries get better. And this is and the type of stuff that you mentioned that these grants are really crucial for and able to get for the department. Yeah, correct. This costs us about uh, $12,000 here, so we definitely could use that extra help. Um, this was from a, a local community member who likes to donate to the department, yep. and uh, we used his funds for that. Um, we also have our, our festival coming up next month. We raise money there, uh, stuff that we raise you know, those funds go for tools like this as well. Grants also help provide this for you guys. Right. Um, this was actually a 50-50 DNR grant that helped us purchase this UTV and trailer unit here. We can use this out in uh, brush fires. Uh, we've got the local bike trail in town here. If somebody goes down on a bike or a snowmobile, we can get out there. and. Uh, Get them back to, to safety. You know, when you are a small a volunteer fire department like this, you know, having that support through grants and even that community support, how crucial has that been for you guys over the years? That's that's huge. You know, we do get our budget from the town and the village and the municipalities, but you know, they they take care of our our needs. These are our wants. This is the extra stuff that we want that helps us do our jobs better. And and um, you know, we couldn't do it without that that extra help. Yeah, being a volunteer fire department, I think you you said you have 38 people on staff right now? We are currently at 39 members right now. Yep. Okay, and you guys are always looking for more volunteers. Always, yep. Um, this day and age, you know, people are busy, so we need that extra people so that when the pager goes off, we have people available to come down and, and take care of what needs to be done. All right, well, Jason, yeah, thank you so much for having us yeah. out here this morning. Again, Firefighters Day, we couldn't do this without them here. Of course, we're going to uh, give a shout out to all of our first responders, our firefighters on this day, because again, they're the ones out there doing it day after day, and we're glad that they can be safe with new gear like this, because they're going in and, you know, fighting those fires, guys, and protecting our families and our property. So again, this day is all for you firefighters out there. Yeah, give them all the protection they need. That's what I say. Thanks, Josh. Remember to let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. Reach out to him on social media or shoot him an email for at that address on your screen for a chance to be featured.